Hey folks, I'm Grimwit from Natuva.com, and we're back in Mother Superior's office for this recipe, or receipt holder, recipe holder, whatever. A note was pinned on the receipt holder. Dear, crossed out, Ms. Zimmelback, I have to say I'm very surprised by the way you fulfilled my request to send me a pet for my students' classroom. I had a real animal in mind, one that conveyed important values, like a puma or a boa constrictor. But the guinea pig you sent is useless to me. I've pickled it in alcohol to save it for the dissection class in biology. Send me a proper animal immediately, or you will not have heard the l l last of me. Regardless, Mother Superior Ignitz. Do you think she really stutters in her, um, on her letters? Lily had to make sure she didn't get the skewer in her eye. It was so easy to have an accident. Eh, I'm accident prone. Um, guinea pig. Receipt holder. Guinea pig on a receipt holder. Lily thought this idea was delightful. The guinea pig was bound to make a huge impression as an animal role model. Dear animals, you should skewer yourself. What do you think, Lumpy? Lumpy was hungry, or he was tired, or bored. It was always hard to tell with him. A hook. Either there was a picture missing here, or there was one too many hooks. I'm voting for the too many hooks. Woohoo! Okay, that was creepy. Let's get out of here. Hey, uh, potted plant, you want an apple? Lily didn't want to spoil her nice friendship with the flower. Plants were the only things that still listened to her. Okay, well, um, hmm. Time to steal everything that isn't nailed down. Screwed down is fine. Perfect. The hairpin fit exactly into the holes. There we go. And that makes me happy about that. And I'm sad to take this mask down. There we are. Hey, it's Kapu. Kapu was the nicest guy at the convent school. Lily liked him so much that she had even named her cockroach after him. Aww. That reminded her that she'd been meaning to punch air holes in the box for weeks. I don't know if roaches need air holes. I'm not sure. They seem pretty indestructible. Um... Lily, nice to see you. I hope Shawnee didn't upset you too much. He's an idiot. I think you're great, just as you are. Lily's heart skipped a beat. This might have been the nicest thing anyone ever said to her. Oh, that's really nice. Hey, do you want an apple? Keep your things to yourself. I'm sure you worked very hard for them. Hmm. This gets really nice. Uh... You seem so tense. Is something wrong? Lily would have liked to tell him her troubles, but she didn't want to give Edna away. Uh-uh. Well, if you need anything, I'm always there for you. I worry about you, you know? Oh, man. So nice. Hey, there's Bridget. Let's give her something to do. Huh. At least this is a regular animal motif. But do you think it also conveys really important values? Oh, yeah. Of course it did. Guinea pigs were cute and small, but always cheerful. Lily always tried to follow their example. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, if you say so. Come back in a few minutes. If you don't bother me, I won't take long. Three, two... One. There we go. Hi, Birgit. 
What are you waiting for? The banner has to go to the cafeteria as quickly as possible. Well, there it is. The banner was magnificent. Birgit had done an incredible job. Just grab that. And off we go. Hey, yeah, that old man knew something about Templars. Let's go talk to him real quick. Oh, man. I do not like talking to this guy. Oh, it wasn't the skeleton from... It was from... Yeah, I needed to skip over that. He says a lot of stuff over and over again. Hmm? W what Do we know each other? Uh-huh. Huh. What do you know about the Templars in the chapel? Uh. Hmm? W what <laughs> oh, oh, I must have dropped off for a moment. But I was just going to tell you an exciting story from my past. Was it the story of how I tried to navigate to Cape Town and ended up discovering the Eurasian continent? Uh-uh. Oh, I know. I wanted to tell you how I helped the Templar Knights build the convent chapel, right? Yes. Uh-huh. I was particularly happy because I had eaten a banana. Or oh, was I sad because all there was to eat was coconuts again? No, the coconuts were when the Trojan mayor gave me the key to the city for my heroic valor. Or oh, was my heroic valor while building dikes in Atlantis? But I think I had an apple that day. Wasn't I a little more sleepy in Atlantis? And angry while building the chapel? Oh, what puppycock. I'm getting everything mixed up. Fortunately, I created a memory aid just for this anecdote, oh. so that I'd remember the location of the secret crypts below the convent chapel. Uh-oh. Someone tidied up the shelf. That's where the objects for my three E's should be. Huh? Emotion, engagement, and eating. Now I can't... Um, oh. You can't make a fool of myself. Now, let's see. Uh, can, can I get some clues? Uh, ah, I know exactly what you're looking for. An instructive story about my time with the Templar Knights. Unfortunately, my memory aid is still missing a few important pieces. If I only knew what the three E's for this story were. But right now, all I can remember are a few vague associations. Four, to be precise. Oh, okay. Well, tell me the clue first. As everyone knows, each different food creates exactly one emotion and promotes one characteristic. Uh. For example, I was never sad if I'd packed a few apples, because they always helped me be very strong. Ooh. Okay. I could only do heroic deeds on days when I wasn't sad. On the other hand, if I was angry, I could never show great strength. Um, alright, three? Coconuts were always good at preventing sleepiness. Hmm? Oh, alright, and four. On this one specific day when I was helping the Templars, I was neither happy about an apple, nor angry about a banana. But I also wasn't sad about a banana, or happy about a coconut. Okay. So, here's what this is all about. Um, actually, have we talked to you about your memory? Uh, no, no, no fear. I haven't forgotten your earlier question. Oh, good. On the contrary, I'm known for remembering everything all the time. Lies. This is thanks to a little trick I learned from an old Chinese mason long ago. 
All I need is a memory aid, like objects that remind me of the three E's. The first E stands for emotion. It tells me whether I was sad, happy, uh, or angry in that situation. I know what emotion means. The second means. E stands for engagement. It reminds me of whether I overcame the situation with strength, heroic courage, or sleepiness. The third E stands for eating. To remember, I have to know which fruit I ate that day. Vitamins are good for the... Uh, for the... Uh, Skull? Memory A, three E's. I don't need any of this stuff anymore. Alright, here's what the deal is. This is uh, one of the mini games in this game. The mini, mini games. And this one is a logic puzzle, basically. And uh, you can skip it if you want. It'll just complete it for you. But uh, that's not the kind of guy I am. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's see. He's never been sad with an apple. This is an apple. That is sad. So let's pick an X. Uh, they always provide him with great strength. Never been sad with an apple because they always provide me with great strength. Okay, now here are the three deals. I, I think we all remember Birgit talking about how bears are strength deers are courage, and porcupines are sleepy. So we know what these mean now. So we also know that apples give strength. Uh, I was only able to accomplish heroic deeds in the days that I wasn't sad. So heroness and sadness is a big no. Okay. Uh, when I seethe with anger... I was never able to show great strength. All right, so strength and anger is a big no. All righty. Let's see if I can figure this out. These are X'd out because they just are, okay? They just are. <laughs> I mean, it's we already know apples equal strength. And each apple conveys a particular emotion and a particular engagement. So we also know that these are X'd out because the bare strength thing. So let me see. what. How else can I do this? Um, apple packed. Never been sad because they only provide me with great strength. So, are apples happy or angry? Happy or angry? Also, coconuts have always been reliable in keeping me from drowsiness. Coconuts and sleepy are no. That means coconuts are heroic. And bananas are sleepy. Okay, so let's see here. If bananas are sleepy, okay, apples are sad, are not sad, and they're also berries. Well, that means that sadness cannot be a bear. So there we go, which means bears are happy. And we can X out everything else in there. Um, that means that deers are angry. And we can X out everything. And that just leaves sleepiness with the sad. So sad and sleepy. All right. Now, bananas are sleepy. Sleepy is sad. So bananas are sad. Apples are strength. Strength is happy, so apples are happy. Coconuts are heroic. Heroic is angry, so coconuts are angry. There we go. And there's the fourth clue. On a special day, when I help the night 
uh, Knights Templar, I was neither happy about an apple nor furious about a banana. Okay, so he wasn't happy about the apple, so it wasn't an apple, and he wasn't angry about a banana, so, well, it, that doesn't mean anything, it just means it's, bananas and angry don't match. Yet, I was also, wasn't sad about a banana, nor happy about a coconut. Sad about a banana, so it wasn't a banana, or happy about a coconut. It was the coconut. So, we need a coconut, we need angry, and we need a deer. Okay. Sounds good. Let's get out of here. Well, we just happen to have an angry mask. And we also happen to have a coconut. But the deer we don't have. Hmm. Let's go look for a deer. I'll be honest, I don't know where to find a deer. But I do know where to find a guinea pig banner. Oh, wait. Let's give it to Mother Superior. Oh. Yay! Birgit has finally finished the new banner, but... What's that? A small, 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 d -d dirty guinea pig? Birgit didn't really make this, did she? Uh-huh. That ca ca can't be true. Can I not rely on anyone here? Just you wait. She'll get what's coming to her. I hope that means she's going to get a reward. Let's go follow Mother Superior. I can't even tell you how disappointed I am in you, Birgit. This is the worst job I've seen in my entire career. But... Don't talk back. You are bad. I will probably have to strip you of all your awards, prizes, and Girl Scout badges. You no longer deserve any of them. But I only did what? Hogwash! Do you really wish to contradict me? I can't believe how low you've sunk, Birgit. A guinea pig? It's unbelievable! Your work is an insult to the entire convent. Get rid of it! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> your whining won't make up for your failures. Just in case you decide not to waste my time with your ineptitude anymore. Here is a motif that's worth immortalizing on a banner. The puma. Strong. Precise. Dignified. A symbol of self-c-control. Right, you better get to work, Birgit. It served Birgit right. Incompetence had to be punished. Let's talk to her. Lily would have liked to comfort Birgit. But on the other hand, it really was her own fault. Lily hoped for Birgit's sake that she would try a little harder with the Puma motif. Yeah, Puma, not Puma. Where does this Puma thing come from? Is that a model? The animal motifs were taboo for Lily. Mother Superior, but uh, Lily... No, no, I've already done that. I'm, I'm not going to take that Puma model. I don't even need it. Grain screen. The embroidery was of a unicorn with eight legs. Lily loved the unusual embroidery more than anything. But she didn't know who had made it. When asked about it, Mother Superior was even more vexed than usual. I'm sure that won't come up ever again. Let's grab it. Ooh, a deer head. That's exactly what I need. The animal motifs. Mother no, 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 no. There. Onward! You and me, old man. There. It's beautiful. Hmm? W what? The Templars. Do we know each other? The Templars. Uh -huh. Tell me about the Templars. Uh, oh, wait. Wasn't I just about to tell you something? Fortunately, I created a memory aid just for this anecdote. Ah, exactly. Now I remember. 
On that day, I was particularly angry. We had just laid the stone slabs in the chapel when the Templar Knights returned from a secret meeting. They examined my work and praised me for doing a heroic job. Then they gave me a coconut. It was one of the greatest days of my life. Here, I even still have the book in which I wrote everything Whoa. down, including the meaning of the secret Templar symbols on the stone slabs. And now please leave me alone. All this reminds me too much of how I once helped a little girl uncover the mystery of the secret crypt below the chapel. One day I really have to tell you that story. <laughs> Few people know that uh, Alzheimer's can cause frame skips. What the hell was that? <laughs> All right, I got a book. The book contained the recorded memories of the elders. Most of it was faded. Only the chapter on the construction of the convent chapel was still legible. That would certainly interest Frank. Of course. Um, but before we do that, how is Birgit doing? She's usually pretty fast on uh, embroidery. No, no, not this time. I guess she wants to be sure. I think she took down the banner. Ah, eh, she took down the banner. And more likely than not, we can't keep it. Hmm. I feel an especially large puzzle going on here. You know, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits here for now. Is this a short vid? How long have I been recording? Uh-oh. Well, we'll call it good for now.